We've explored more of space than our own oceans. With over 95% of the ocean remaining unmapped, what could be hiding beneath the waves? From bizarre creatures to mysterious sounds, here are some scary things lurking in the deep ocean that we can't explain. Welcome back, everyone. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button for more videos. We've all heard Billie Eilish's song about it, but what exactly is the Twilight Zone? It's the band's name, not an actual zone. That would be silly. In reality, it's one of several names given to the area of ocean between 200 and 1,000 meters below sea level. Sunlight can't penetrate this far down, so the only light comes from bioluminescent creatures or, of course, human submersibles. As you descend into the twilight zone, you'll find fewer and fewer fish until you reach the midnight zone where sunlight can't reach at all. Here you'll find creatures like the anglerfish, which has a glowing lure in front of its mouth that it uses to attract prey, or the gulper eel, which has a huge mouth that it can use to swallow prey larger than itself. And then there's the giant isopod, a crustacean that looks like a cross between a pill bug and a crab. These creatures can grow to enormous sizes in the deep sea, and some have been found that are over a meter long. There are even stranger things in the deepest parts of the ocean called the Hadal Zone, which begins at 1,000 meters below sea level and goes down to the ocean floor. Here, the pressure can be over 1,000 times greater than at the surface, and the temperature can be as low as 0 degrees Celsius. Despite these extreme conditions, there are still animals that live here, such as the Japanese spider crab, which has a leg span of up to 4 meters. Then there's the blobfish, which lives at depths of up to 2,000 meters. It's often called the world's ugliest animal, but it's perfectly adapted to its environment. But these are just the things that we know about. There are probably many more things lurking in the deep ocean that we haven't even discovered yet. In 1997, a massive underwater explosion was detected in the Pacific Ocean. It was so loud that it was heard thousands of kilometers away. It was named the bloop after the sound it made. But despite many expeditions to try and find out what caused it, no one knows to this day. Some people believe it could have been caused by a giant squid or a whale. But these animals make regular sounds that can be picked up by hydrophones. The bloop, however, was a one-off and remains a mystery. Then there are the many sunken cities that lie in the deep ocean. For example, the city of Erecleon, which was once a major port on the Mediterranean Sea. It was destroyed by an earthquake in 365 AD and now lies in ruins at the bottom of the sea. Explorers have found the remains of buildings, streets, and even coins from the time it was inhabited. Sunken cities like these are home to all sorts of creepy things like old ships, abandoned submarines, and even dead whales. Speaking of whales, in 2004, a group of scientists were diving in the Bahamas when they came across something strange. They found a hole in the sand that looked like a giant bite mark. At first, they thought it could have been caused by a shark, but there were no sharks anywhere in the area. Eventually, they decided that the most likely culprit was actually a whale. Whales are known to create holes in the sand to search for food, and this one could have been much larger than normal because the whale was searching for a particularly large meal. Of course, there are many other mysterious things lurking in the deep ocean that we can't explain. There are strange lights that have been spotted in the middle of the ocean, underwater volcanoes that create bizarre shapes and even giant squid that could be big enough to eat a human. It seems like every time we explore more of the deep ocean, we find even stranger and scarier things. So what do you think? Are there any other scary things lurking in the deep ocean that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for more videos like this. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe.